In today's video, you'll get to meet 10 of the ultimate animal survivors. These creatures didn't only overcome adversity, oh no, they literally came back from the dead when most of the world thought them to be extinct and God himself was like, you're done. Number 10. Fernandina Galapagos Tortoise. Giant predatory ocean reptiles like this one here have fortunately gone extinct for millions of years, and I'm pretty sure that you'd never want this to be a candidate for de-extinction. This next giant reptile, though, is one that we definitely want to come back to prominence, and it's getting there, actually. The Fernandina Galapagos tortoise belongs to the lost giant tortoise species. It was thought to be extinct for over a hundred years, and in the 1700s, pirates slaughtered these giant tortoises for food on their long voyages and because they were just jerks. Whalers and traders also hunted these reptiles for their oil, which was used for power lamps. As many as 200,000 were killed throughout the 19th century. To put a doubt in their existence, they were believed to have been extinct after the eruptions of the Fernandina volcano in the 1900s. It's certainly sad to think of, but imagine the delight of the Galapagos National Park Directorate team when in one of their expeditions they discovered a female Fernandino Galapagos tortoise that had mysteriously survived the odds and came out of hiding in 2019. Number 9. Takahi. The Takahi is a multicolored bird that once roamed the Murchison Mountains in New Zealand. Changes in the habitat, human hunting, and predators were the reasons for their extinction. The Takahi is stocky at about 5 to 6 pounds. Initially, this bird didn't have predators, but when native settlers came to the island, they found this flightless bird easy to hunt, which made a good sized meal. Ah, once again, man is the greatest predator. Takahis inhabit the grasslands. They eat sedge species, tussock leaves, and seeds. As the deer population in the mountains grew, they ate more and more tussock grass, reducing the amount available for the Takahis. Forest fires ruined the environment and changed their habitats as well. Also, just to add insult to injury, rats feasted on their eggs. By the late 19th century, the Takahi was considered completely extinct. And in 1948, when hiking the Murchison Mountains, Dr. Jeffrey Orbell discovered a Takahi. It was believed the group of Taki survived as the area was without human intervention. There are still not many of them, making it one of the rarest birds in the world, but at the moment, they're still here. Number 8. The American Bison. The bison is the iconic symbol of the American West with an estimated number between 30 million to 65 million back in the 1800s. The imposing beast dominated the interior plains of the North. By 1883, the number plummeted down to less than a thousand, and the American bison was virtually extinct. Once again, thanks, man. Hunting these animals was so prevalent that it was estimated that about 1.2 million bison were killed annually. Hunters would kill as many bison as they could, with some claiming that the only time they would stop was if the Skinners couldn't keep up. Large bison populations also caused problems on railroads, often colliding with trains. So much so that railroad companies employ people to stand on roofs of railway cars just to shoot the bison on sight. So progressive. By the 1900s, President Theodore Roosevelt initiated to support animal conservation and protected the bison in particular. Through a combination of the efforts of the conservationists, ranchers, all these efforts to conserve the bison prevailed. Today, these impressive creatures are slowly making a comeback. Number 7. The Coelacanth. Coelacanths can be considered living fossils, having existed as far back as 400 million years ago. Based on the fossil record, the primitive looking fish was supposed to have disappeared together with the dinosaurs about eh, 60 million years ago. It wasn't until 1938 that a living coelacanth was found off South Africa. It was dubbed as the Lazarus fish based on the story in the Bible of a man brought back to life. The most striking feature of this living fossil is its paired lobe fins that extend away from its body like legs and move in an alternating pattern. Kind of like a trotting horse, actually. Other rather unique characteristics include a hinge joint in the skull, which allows the fish to widen its mouth for larger prey, as well as an oil filled tube called a notochord, which serves as a backbone, thick scales common only to extinct fish, and an electrosensory rostral organ. This is located in its snout and was likely used to detect prey. Since their rediscovery, two species of these fish have actually been found. One that lives near the Comoros Islands off the east coast of Africa, and one found in the waters off of Sulawesi, Indonesia. Number 6. Madagascar's Serpent Eagle Very rare and enigmatic, the Madagascar Serpent Eagle is a large raptor that is endemic to Madagascar, obviously. They occur very locally in pristine eastern rainforests, where it hunts inside of said forest. They're among the world's most endangered raptors and were previously thought of as extinct until, again, their rediscovery. 
They were rediscovered by Russell Thorstam. On November 3, 1993, the scientist was walking through the dense forest of Madagascar's northeast coast when he spotted one of these presumably extinct birds. The first time in 60 years, in fact. The discovery electrified biologists working to save Madagascar's wildlife. They estimate that the 900-mile-long island located in the Indian Ocean off of Africa's southeast coast holds 5% of the world's living species. With these species, about 150,000 of the plants and animals there, including the serpent eagle, exist nowhere else. Today, it is critically endangered. There's about 75 breeding pairs, and I guess there might be as many as 120 at this point. Number 5. The Caspian Horse The Caspian Horse holds the distinction of being both one of the oldest and one of the newest of horse breeds. Current archaeozoologic evidence dates the Caspian back to at least 3000 BC, predating other recognized breeds of horses. When the Persian Empire collapsed in 644 AD, its royal horse was lost for more than a thousand years. That was until its rediscovery in 1965. It was American Louise Feroz that rediscovered them. They were found by Feroz living around a remote village called a mole in a mountainous region near the Caspian Sea. This, their last refuge from extinction, was in the Elbers Mountains at the southern edge of the Caspian, where locals would periodically catch them and breed them as workhorses. Smaller numbers of feral Caspians do remain in remote areas near the Elbers Mountains of northern Iran. In Iran, a national Caspian stud farm, Perseus Farm, established by Luis Feroz, is maintained by the government. This once thought to be extinct creature is now considered a national treasure and its future is looking brighter in its home country. Number 4. The Pygmy Tarsier Indonesia's tiniest primate species, the Pygmy Tarsier, is about the size of a small mouse. Weighing less than 2 ounces and measuring less than 4 inches from head to tail, with the tail counting for most of this length there, the Pygmy Tarsiers are about 75% the size of their other Tarsier species. Yet, relative to their diminutive size, Mother Nature has fitted Pygmy Tarsiers with long limbs. And it's probably these limbs that also help them cling to life despite apparent extinction. Gursky Doyen of Texas A&M University traveled into the mountains of Sulawesi Island in Indonesia to confirm that the Pygmy Tarsier was unequivocally extinct, but ended up becoming the first person in more than 80 years to spot a live one. Many other scientific teams came before him, and all of them failed. It's currently unknown how many live specimens are out in the wild, leading to their data deficient classification by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, or the IUCN. This means that not enough information is known in order for a better classification. That's why scientists are working diligently to find out more about them to better protect them. Number 3. The Night Parrot The Night Parrot is one of the most enigmatic and intriguing birds in Australia. Explorer Charles Sturt first came across this nocturnal bird in 1845 during his expedition. Between 1845 and 1875, only 25 specimens had been collected. It then went unseen for more than a century across its known habitats, which led it to be called the most mysterious bird in the world. In fact, some experts argue that the bird could be extinct. In 1912, a living specimen was captured in Western Australia. After that, there were no confirmed sightings of the bird again. That was again until 2013 when John Young, a wildlife enthusiast from Queensland, took photos of what he believed to be a night parrot while he was camping. The finding sparked such widespread attention that the precise site was never revealed. This was to safeguard the birds and protect them from human disturbance. To protect the species, a 56,000 hectare reserve was dedicated as a habitat for these endangered bird species. Yet the very few to almost no sightings show they are severely decreasing and their disappearance is very imminent. Number 2. Gastric Brooding Frog the southern gastric brooding frog was discovered in 1972 in the mountains of Queensland, Australia. But the world only took notice of it in 1974 when somebody discovered the quaint repulsive way it reproduced. Simply put, the mother frog converts her stomach into a womb. She swallows her own eggs and stops making hydrochloric acid in her stomach to avoid digesting her own young. After that, around 20 to 25 tadpoles hatch inside her and the mucus from their gills continues to keep the acid at bay. While the tadpoles grow over the next six weeks, Mommy never eats. Her stomach bloats so much that her lungs collapse, forcing her to breathe through her skin. If that isn't the ultimate example of motherly love, I don't know what is. Eventually, she does give birth to a brood through propulsive vomiting, spewing them into the world as fully formed froglets. However, during the time when scientists wanted to fully study this amazing animal, they became extremely hard to find. The last specimen was seen in the wild in either 1979 or 1981, and despite extensive field surveys, none was ever found again. 
The last captive individual died in 1983 and the species was no more after that. That was until a few years ago when Mike Archer and his team from the University of New South Wales were able to bring this once extinct creature back to life by using a process known as somatic cell nuclear transplantation. They deactivated eggs from the distantly related great barred frog and swapped the nuclei with that of the gastric brooding frog, thus giving birth to a new generation of frogs that will hopefully soon vomit out offspring of their very own. Number 1. New Guinea Singing Dog the New Guinea Highland Wild Dog has been proven to be the most ancient living wild dog. This species is thought to be the ancestors of domesticated dogs and has been feared extinct for more than 50 years. They're called singing dogs because of their love of howling, which probably didn't endear them to their neighbors. The species has been rediscovered in the forests and highlands of New Guinea at about 3300 to 4200 meters above sea level. In 2016, cameras documented the presence of at least 15 highland wild dogs, including males, females, and cubs on Mount Pungak Jaya. It seems that scientists had a hunch that these dogs weren't actually extinct, even before the rediscovery. Between 2005 and 2012, there have been sightings of this species, but haven't been confirmed by solid evidence. According to scientists, the studies on these dogs could give us a better and more detailed comprehension of these canines. Thanks for watching.